I am here to do another vlog in this little series that I'm doing um, when it comes to my little birthday brunch. Now, in real time that I'm filming this, my birthday brunch is in like six days. So it's Monday. My birthday brunch is on Saturday. So I'm here at a thrift store that's local to my mom. My mom lives about an hour away from me and this thrift store is just a really good store that has more vintage um like home decor houseware stuff like that so i want to get some like uh champagne flutes or glasses and plates to kind of finish off the like table deco and anything else i can find when it comes to decor wise um i also want to get some different uh vases or vases uh, maybe some more mason jars that are different heights for the centerpiece so let's see what we can get i'm trying not to spend too much on decor that's why i'm going to the thrift store i love it i think it's so much fun so we're gonna shop around and come back and i'll show you guys what we get obviously in li later in this video or in the next video so i'm really excited Hi guys, I just came inside from being outside, so I still have my coat on, but this is going to be the haul portion of my thrifting vlog that I did yesterday. So I'm hoping to get this up like this week or this weekend. And this is pretty much the final things that I found at the thrift store um, for my birthday party. Now I do have a bunch of things from Amazon, so if we have time at the end, I will show you guys that. But for now, I want to stick with the thrift shopping. Let's get into what I thrifted. So if you guys are new, if this is like the first video you're watching of mine, um, or if you're just tuning into the series, um, I made a few videos prior about prepping for my birthday party. I'm having a really small, intimate birthday brunch with some girlfriends, and the theme is garden party. So I'm going to show you guys what I thrifted. In my mind, I have like this idea for the center of the table, like the center pieces. And I honestly wanted to have different size, different types of glasses, tall, short, all of that, and fill them up with flowers. So I got several different shapes. And I also already have some vases, vases, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and mason jars and stuff like that. So I am going to use what I have, but I also wanted some funkier ones. So I got this kind of square-ish one with really cool texture to it. So again, just have a few flowers coming out of that um, all across the center of the table. And then I got this one. 
to give again a little bit of height to the centerpiece and this one has slight texture to it i'm not sure if you can see that and again super tall so again a few flowers just poking out of there now everything i'm going to show you guys i paid 17 dollars it's crazy um but yeah 17 dollars. this is why i wanted to go to this thrift store because i've been going there since i was young and i just knew i would find some really awesome pieces whoops okay and then this last one i think is a mason jar but it's a oh no it's like um a, a wider kind of mason jar shape but it has this beautiful texture to it and a wide opening so i can fit a bunch of flowers in this one whereas these have like a really thin opening but yeah i just again i wanted variety and shapes and textures and i want things to kind of be mismatched i know a lot of people are super into matching but i think mismatching is just as cute and vintagey and elegant in the same in the same breath so um, I am having a mimosa bar so I wanted I have regular champagne flutes which I'm going to use some of those but I also wanted a few flutes again different shapes different sizes so I got these two put that on the floor and this one has this beautiful floral you can't really see it I'll probably I'll try to can you guys see that it's like a floral design and texture but look how cute those are so i got those and i think i only got two because the other one i wanted was like nine dollars which i think that's way too much <laughs> these were this one was 99 cents and this one was 2.99 so really awesome deal and then i wanted to pick up some plates and again keep in mind mismatchy type of vibe right <clears throat> So there's going to be six place settings and I already have like a few um, small plates. So I picked up these plates. This one had two and look how just dainty and delicate these florals are. These were 99 cents each. Really, really nice. These are glass, but the design is just so pretty and again, florals pinks and greens is my theme and then when i saw these there were four of them so oh no there's only three of them no that's okay but i thought how freaking cute is this look at the edge i love the edge of these plates oh no this one's kind of chipped mm, that's okay vintage vibes right so see just like how much character these have oh so pretty so yeah there were three of these oh my gosh just precious i'm gonna wash these up use these as little you know serving side plates if you will so i got three of those i mean y'all it's just it fits the theme perfectly all right and then the last two things i picked up were these cloth napkins. I don't know if they're napkins exactly, but they were 25 cents each. And I figured I could use these across the center uh, of the table for a little bit more color or texture. Look how pretty this is. Look at this design. Do you guys see that? And then I got this one, which is just like this gorgeous pink color. Again, just to add some color, I might just put this on the food table to just break up the tablecloth over there, but 25 cents you honestly you can't beat it so again all of that was $17 I got two cloth napkins two champagne flutes um, five plates and three different jars slash vases or whatever you want to call it $17 Honestly, go to your thrift store if you are having a themed party or if you're just looking for like home decor. It's such ugh, such good deals, great finds. So that is everything that I picked up at the thrift store for my garden party birthday. Um, by the time you guys see this, I think the party will have already happened. I'm going to vlog as much as I can, like setting everything up. But yeah, you know what? Let me just show you guys what else I got. I'll just show you guys the Amazon stuff because 
we are here and why not? I did pick up a tablecloth for this table. I'm filming where the, the party is going to happen, obviously. So the large table is going to have a pink tablecloth. Beautiful baby pink. So I got this off Amazon. Super inexpensive. I just needed a really large tablecloth because this table is a dining room table. So I got this pinky color for the tablecloth. And then for the runner in the middle um, of the table, I got this gorgeous green runner. And it's all twisted up right now, but it's almost let that, do they have the name on here? Green sage cheesecloth table runner. I'm gonna insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. It comes like this because it's supposed to be like textured so yeah i guess you just untwist it i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but it's such a pretty color and i think these two together it's, it's gonna look so good so i have that and i did get everything else i needed for the candle painting i've mentioned in a previous video that the the girls and i are going to be painting candles which was really popular on TikTok and Instagram a couple of months ago. <clears throat> so I got this little set. You can find this set on Amazon. I'll link it in my Amazon store if you guys are interested. But I got the long skinny tapered candles already. So we're going to use those. But this kit came with candles as well. So these I'm actually just going to use around the center of the table, like a cent the centerpiece. So these are just white and you can paint these as well. I'll let the girls paint them if they want a chunky candle versus a tall, skinny, tapered candle. But so it came with three, four, five, six of these. And then it came with all the different colored tea lights. So we have green, yellow. We have this like purpley, bluish indigo color, light pink, red, and then a true blue. So all the colors we're going to need for our little candle painting moment. I'm so excited. Um, and then let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. Oh wait, I totally forgot. I also got these paint brushes. These are just, I think they're just acrylic. You don't want like the bristly brushes because you're using wax. So I got the acrylic tipped brushes. I think that's what they're called. Um, so I got those, again, super inexpensive on Amazon. And then, so these are the candles I showed you guys in my previous video, one of my previous videos that I posted. And these are the long, tall, tapered candles that we're going to paint. But I wanted everybody, so this is everybody's like parting gift. Um, instead of giving everyone like a gift bag, I figured we could paint candles and then they could take it home. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this beautiful, clear candle holder, y'all. Oh, how freaking adorable is that? Isn't that so cute? So every girl is gonna go home with a candlestick and a little holder that they can kind of display in their house. So these were only a dollar. I have to find four more because I only found two at my Dollar Tree. So yeah, so cute, really inexpensive, but still really pretty. All right, so that is everything that I picked up for my birthday, my garden party birthday. A lot of the other things we already have, um, like plates and like serving plates and stuff like that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you really quick. I started setting up the other day and we're gonna end this vlog by showing you guys the little food table that I set up already. And yeah, let's go take a look. All right, you guys, so here is the food table. This is that tablecloth that I thrifted the other day or in the other video. This like mint green color, it's so pretty. And then there's a box under there. I just wanted to give some height to the table. So I might use that, I might not. This is just gonna display some of our drinks in this area. And we're gonna have like pastries and uh, like a bagel bar and fruits and veggies and stuff like that. So this gives you an idea of what's to come, but I'll show you guys the end result when it happens. Put some of the 
plates and glasses here on this food table. I just wanted to kind of see the vibes of everything and I'm really liking where this is going. Of course, everything matches the wallpaper. It's so cute. So. <laughs> 